Hi, John here, and today I'm going to do a demonstration of the app called Audio Lab for Android. It is a very powerful app and a very accessible app, so I'm going to demonstrate it for you today. Just a few of the things that it can do. I'm going to go through them all just so you see what it offers, but then I'm going to specifically show you how to record with it, how to trim a recording and how to delete sections out of a recording and then how to combine recordings together. So I'm just going to start right here on the main page and show you all your options you have here. Trim audio. Mix audio. Merge audio. Tag editor. Convert compress audio. Record audio. Split audio. Reverse audio. Voice changer. Add SFX. Text to speech. Video to audio. Karaoke effect. Speech to text. LR splitter. Normalize audio. Speed changer. Karaoke offline. Fun recording. Silence remover. Noise remover. Batch processing. Audio effects. Equalizer. Pro speed changer. Channel manipulation. Audio to video. Video audio mixer. Noise generator. Wave generator. Sound mastering. Video to GIF. 8D audio. Acapella, instrumental. Video trim. Video SFX. Device codec. Output. Open navigation drawer, button. So as you could see, there are a lot of different options that you have to work with here when it comes to editing audio files. I have used very few of these. I'll be honest with you. I've used video to audio. I've used merge audio. I've used trim audio and I've used trim video. So it offers a lot that I honestly haven't used, but I just wanted to show you everything that it offers. So now that we're at the bottom left, that's where you can get to the navigation drawer if you want to. And here's what the options are along the bottom. Change language button. Help button. Contact support button. Setting button. So I'm going to go into the settings just to show you what some of your options are. Setting. Navigate up button. Setting. Theme. Choose theme. Dark. So you could choose a theme. Upgrade. Upgrade to pro version. You can upgrade to the pro version. So the free version you don't have to pay for, but it doesn't have all of the features. So that list of different things you can do that I just went through, some of those will be labeled as pro, pro only if you don't have the pro version. That being said, I think it's normal price is only $3.99 US. And I actually think it's on sale for $1.99 right now while I'm recording this. So I don't know how long that sale will last, but even at full price, I think it is well worth it. So let's see what else is in the settings. Language, change language. Let Audio Lab run in background. Due to battery optimization, Audio Lab cannot work when in background. This leads to accidental stopping when recording and no output creation in background. So I've already gone and done this, so I'm going to just skip by that. Output default audio format, extension, list. So this is what you want your default audio output to be here, your options. Not selected, wave. Selected, MP3. 128 kilobits per second, drop down list, audio bit rate. HZ underscore 44100, drop down list, audio sample rate. And these are the different sample rates and bit rates you can default choose. Default orientation, default orientation of Audio Lab, list, menu option, list. Selected, portrait. This is, well, obviously how you prefer to hold your phone. I have it set to portrait. 
Not selected, landscape. Selected, 2. Not selected, 3. Output folder. Could you change your output folder? Store, show audio name by, list. Selected, file name. Not selected, audio title. Audio lab audio gallery. Exclude folder, folder exclude, none. So if you have like a folder on your phone where you store audio books or music files that you don't want to show up when you go to open a file to edit, then this is where you would add those folders and it will exclude those. Trim, default orientation of single wave, list, default trim view, list. So these are the different views you can have while you're doing editing, while you're trimming. Not selected, default. Not selected, portrait. Selected, landscape. Not selected, advance. Not selected, simple. Selected, double wave. I have double wave selected because I find that's the easiest for me to edit, but when you change these settings, it will change how it's displayed on your screen and how much options you have available to you. So you might want to try different ones out if you're going to be using it a lot. Enable analytics. Help our development team by sharing crash information and usage. Yes. Auto-tune option. Off. Enable experimental auto-tune option in recording. Switch. So that's all the settings. So now that I've shown you all of that, I'm going to back out of here. Audio lab. Setting. Button. I'm going to scroll back to the top. And I'm going to go to... Record audio. Record audio. Audio of recording underscore the 23rd of January 23 underscore 1504 so, Audio of recording underscore the 23rd of January 20... Select all. Selected text. Audio of record... Assistant voice typing. Demonstration clip for Audio Lab. Voice typing stopped. Keyboard hidden. Music. Demonstration clip for Audio Lab. Edit box. Enter file name. Okay, so that's what I'm going to have it s save it as. Music. Drop down list. Use as. I always leave this to music. Let's see what the other options are. Music. Pop-up window. Music. Default alarm. Default notification. Default ringtone. Okay, so... Default, default alarm. Music. Yeah, I'm leaving it as music. Music. Demonstration clip for audio lab. Music. Default. Drop-down list. Source. Channel. Not selected. Stereo. So you can set it to stereo or mono. I have it set to mono. Selected. Mono. HZ underscore 48,000. Drop down list. Sample rate. You could change the sample rate if you want. Audio format. Not selected. Wave. These are your different options. Selected. MP3. I just have it set to MP3 for this demonstration because the rendering time is a lot faster, even though it's not as good a quality. Not selected. AAC. Not selected. M4A. Not selected. FLAC. Not selected. AUG. Not selected. Opus. Bluetooth preferred. Off. Enable recording from Bluetooth microphone if it is connected. Recording will be in WAV format at HZ8000. Switch. So that's if you want to use your Bluetooth headset, which I'm not going to do. Off. For skip silence. Switch. These are different settings you can add or filters you can add to it. Off, noise suppressor, switch. Off, automatic gain control, switch. Off, echo canceller, switch. Auto, button. Cancel, button. Start, button. So I'm just going to leave all those turned off and I'm going to hit the start button near the bottom right. Audio lab, navigate up. Button. Now this takes us to the recording page and... Start recording. Button. Okay, there's a start recording button near the bottom center. I'm going to double tap that. 
And it should be recording now. I'm just going to swipe away and come back to it. Pause recording button. So now you can see the button is labeled pause. So that means it's recorded. So I'm just going to go ahead and say something here. Welcome to this sample clip. Well, actually, <laughs> I already have an intro. So this is a good way of showing you how to cut something out. So I've already pre-recorded the intro. So I'm going to start that over. This is a demonstration of Audio Lab, and I'm going to do a couple of things to this file. I'm first going to delete a section out of it. So this section right here is going to be the part I remove from the recording while editing. And then after that, I'm going to trim off the beginning and end of this clip that I'm not going to be using. So now the button is on the pause. I'm going to double tap it. And I'm going to swipe. Play recording button. I'm not going to play it. I'm going to go to the top. Navigate up button. Demonstration clip save button. Just going to click save at the top right. Converting audio. Output created. Album art, image, output created, click to view output. So now I'm going to share, edit audio. So this button that says share, edit audio, I'm going to click that because we're going to trim this. Output option, navigate up button. The first option is trim. Trim audio. So I'm going to open it here. Landscape, processing, 99%. Progress bar, audio lab, open navigation drawer, button. Okay, so now we're here on the editing page. So what I'm going to do is near the bottom left. Play. There's a play button. I'm going to hit that. And it should be recording now. I'm just going to swipe away and come back to it. So now you can so see this the is the labeled pause file that we just recorded. recorded. So I'm just going to go ahead and say something here. Welcome to this sample clip. Well, actually, <laughs> I already have an intro, so this is a good way of showing you how to cut something out. So I've already pre-recorded the intro, so I'm going to start that over. So I double tapped again to pause it there because this is the point in the recording where I want to remove everything before that. So right above the play button, there is a button labeled... Move left slide to playing button. Move left side to playing. I'm going to double tap that. So now that the left side slide is there, I'm going to hit the play button again. Play. This is a demonstration of Audio Lab, and I'm going to do a couple of things to this file, I'm first going to delete a section out of it. So this section right here is going to be the part I removed from the recording while editing. And then after that, I'm going to trim off the beginning and end of this clip that I'm not going to be using. Okay, so I stopped it there because I know this is the point where I'm going to want everything after that to be cut off. So I'm going to, I think if I swipe left. Move right slide to playing button. Yeah, that will move right slide to playing. So now I know that the section that is currently highlighted is the section I want to keep. So. Play. I'm going to swipe to. Trim, trim. Trim because this will delete everything that's not selected. Delete, delete. If I were to do delete, that would delete the selected area. So I'm going to do trim right now. Trim, trim. Trim, trim. So now that should have gotten rid of the beginning and end that I didn't want. So I'm going to hit the play button again. Play. This is a demonstration of Audio Lab, and I'm going to do a couple of 
things to this file, I'm first going to delete a section out of it. So I paused it and I'm going to move left slide to playing button. Move left slide to play. Play. I'm going to hit play. So this section right here is going to be the part I removed from the recording while editing. Okay, so now I'm going to put the right slide here. Move right slide to playing button. And now hitting the play button should play, play the highlighted section. So this section right here is going to be the part I removed from the recording while editing. Okay, so I know that's what I want to delete, so... Trim, trim, delete, I'm delete. Hit delete. Processing, open navigation drawer, button, audio lab. All right, so now I'm going to... Save, save. Hit save, which is near the bottom right. Demonstration clip for audio lab underscore the 23rd of January 23 underscore 1509. Music, that's just drop the name. create. Button. It's going to save it as, so I'm going to hit create. Output created. Album art. Image. Output created. Click to view output. Demonstration clip for audio. Slash storage slash share. Share. Rate. Op, share. Play. Play. So I'm going to hit play just to see what the end result was like. Portrait. Audio this lab. This is a demonstration of button. Audio Lab and... I'm going to do a couple of things to this file. I'm first going to delete a section out of it. And then after that, I'm going to trim off the beginning and end of this clip that I'm not going to be using. So, Page four of five. So as you can see, that's what I wanted with the beginning and end trimmed off and the center portion removed. So now I'm going to Audio Lab. Audio Lab Pro. I'm back on the main page. I'm just going to show you how to combine clips because I already pre recorded an intro and an outro. So Trim Audio. Mix Audio. Merge Audio. I'm going to go to Merge Audio. Audio Lab. Navigate Up. Button. Album art, intro underscore the 23rd of January. So I selected intro. Then I'm going to select. Album art, demonstration clip for audio lab underscore. Demonstration clip. Album art, outro under. Then outro. Done button. I'm going to hit the done button, the bottom right. Merge audio. Navigate up button. Now let's see if they're in the correct order. Move album art intro underscore the 23rd of J move album art demonstration clip for audio lab under move album art outro underscore the 23rd of January 23 underscore move. Okay, so they are in the order I selected them, so I don't have to do any rearranging. Add audio button. And I don't want to add audio, that's what's near the bottom, right? Save button. I'm going to hit the save button and that will combine all these. Intro underscore the 23rd of January 23 underscore intro underscore off use fail safe merging switch. Here are some options I have. Off fade in fade out switch. Don't want any fade in or fade out. Off add silence between audio switch. Music drop down list use merge button. We're going to hit merge. Estimated time left. Calculating. Output created. Album. Play. Play. All right, now let's see what we have. Audio Hello lab. There. Navigate this is up. Simply button. going to be a demonstration of an intro that I'm going to use for Audio Lab. This is a demonstration of Audio Lab, and I'm going to do a couple of things to this file. I'm first going to delete a section out of it. And then after that, I'm going to trim off the beginning and end of this clip that I'm not going to be using. And this is simply going to be a demonstration outro for Audio Lab.
Thank you for listening. Hello there. Page five of six. Okay, so it went into another recording. But that is just a, hopefully, not too long, I tried to be quick, demonstration of how you would do a couple of things in Audio Lab. So here's the real outro. Thank you for listening. Warren, have you used Audio Lab? I actually have it, and I actually purchased the pro version. Um, however, like John says, you probably don't need to buy the pro version if you don't want to. Um, it's very generous in what it gives you as a free user. But I like supporting you know guys that have great apps, and this app is like a one in all kind of app. I mean, I mean, if you listen to what John has there in that demo. It just does just about everything. And uh, thanks, John. I actually haven't used it to edit. And now I know how to edit, you know, thanks to your demo. Because I I think I tried it one time, but I, I didn't make heads and tails of it. And now I understand if I had that double wave or whatever, it actually makes it easier uh, to edit. So thanks for that demo. Oh, no problem. Yeah, it was actually, it was kind of difficult when I went back to edit the recording for the podcast i was i didn't know how hard it would be to edit a recording of myself editing a recording of myself <laughs> it was very confusing at points but i finally got through it so yeah it's a good app and i i just showed the simplest way to do it but i just want to touch on it and say there's other controls in there like for adjusting the left slide and the right slide like you can manually input the exact seconds and milliseconds you want to move those sliders to. Um, you don't have to delete or trim. You can add silence. Like if you're just like, if somebody said a bad word and you just want to get rid of that part, you know, you could do that. So there's a, a lot more you can do besides what I just demonstrated. I was just showing like the simplest way to do it. And what and, do you mean by somebody saying a bad word? You mean Doug. Doug, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Out, but, uh, uh, come on guys. But that's, the, I think that was the method I was trying earlier prior to listening to your recording demo. Uh, I was trying to use that method of inputting uh, the time lapse and all of that. And yeah. uh, I'm like, gosh, how do I calculate this? So I'm like, when I heard your demo, I'm like, this is actually yeah. simpler. Yeah. And even if you get it wrong, you can then adjust like the increment. So you can change the increment to like 500 milliseconds or one second or 100 milliseconds. And then you can just manually double tap the move slide button to move it by that increment you've specified. So I usually keep it at like 500 milliseconds, but if I need it to be like a finer adjustment, I'll change it to 100 milliseconds and then just adjust it until it gets to the point I want. So yeah, you can really do a lot with it and it's very accessible. I Somebody's asked me before, like what, what do you use to edit for the podcast? Like what PC software do you use? I'm like, I don't. I just do it on my Android phone. Like it works really well for me. That is cool. Now the pro version is it like six dollars or is it three dollars? I don't remember how I much think it's I paid four. for it. Yes, I think it's three ninety nine um, or something like that, isn't it? Yeah, they let you donate. They let you choose how much to donate, but I think the minimum when it's not on sale is four dollars. Okay, I think I got mine for like uh, six dollars or six ninety nine. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. What does the pro version give you that the uh, the free one doesn't? I honestly can't tell you because I just like as soon as I realized it was a great app before I really got deep into it, I was like, I want, I want this app. Like I knew it, so I just went. And yeah, purchased so you it. bought it. So yeah. I don't really know how fun. Although it did seem like going through the list, certain things were labeled pro. And I remember oh. the first time I went through it, I didn't really think I would need anything that was labeled pro. Like it was more some of the more um, advanced or silly type things like effects and stuff like that. But like I said, I'm not sure exactly what you get. It can't though. I don't think any uh, voice recorder can. It can't record system sounds, can it? You need a screen recorder for that. Is that right? Yeah, I am. I don't know. I normally just use it for editing, so I wouldn't be yeah. sure. I don't know exactly. I, I, I'm pretty sure it can't. I only say that because... Yeah, I would assume it can't. Yeah, uh, someone was asking on a, the email list today how to record a Google Meet meeting 
from your phone. And I don't think Audio Lab could do it. I went and had a little look before I answered that question, and I couldn't. I couldn't immediately see that it did. I, th I think that's a screen recording thing, which is no fault of Audio Lab, obviously. Um, uh, none of the voice recorders do. But yeah, it's uh, more of a restriction with Android. Yeah, exactly. I think. Yeah, I think so too. I think the problem also might be if the app does not allow the sharing of the microphone, for example, I think then that creates a problem because if you're doing a meet um, recording or joining a meet meeting, uh, you're using your microphone. And now this one's wanting to use the microphone. Sometimes that becomes a problem. I think that may be uh, the reason why it might not work, but if one is on the speaker, and if it allows the microphone sharing, there's no reason why it shouldn't record. Yeah, you muted yourself in Meet, maybe it would work. And you could you could do it that way. Or I think um, you might have to go into like the actual app settings, not app settings, but app data settings. Is that what I'm looking for? Or, and like actually revoke mic access for mute or for Meet. That yeah. might actually be what I you might have to do. do. Yeah, exactly. That would work but, if you do that. Any recording. Then, should be then able you might to have to log. Up. Then you might have to log in to meet twice, though, if you wanted to say stuff in the meeting. You might have to have two phones logged in. That one that's yeah. muted and yeah. the other that's exactly. not. But and it just sounds yeah. like a big hassle, really. That does. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I think this internet, uh, oh, internet, this email though, the guy wants to record like a lecture that's coming uh, through on the Google. It's, so in this case. He'll have nothing to lose because he's just listening and then just um, letting oh, um, so it's not, his yeah. thing record what he wants. Yeah, I think I think a screen record is easier. I would do that probably, but uh, yeah, it sounds like you might be able to do that if you revoke uh, Meet's access. But, yeah, but uh, then we'll have the next email that says I can't be had on mute on uh, Google Meet anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. Uh, this is it. Yeah. Money Do not forget to put that back when you're done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a good app. Do you, do you go and install it?